While technology, art, and environmental protection are three different disciplines, they're all interconnected and closely related to our daily lives. Hong Kong Science and Technology Parks Corporation, HKSTP, has recently unveiled an exhibition that combines these three elements and celebrates the harmonious confluence of sustainability, technology, and startup dynamism. Under the theme Housewarming, this Art Tech series takes visitors on a thought-provoking journey through sustainability and technology across 10 zones. It encompasses mesmerizing art pieces inspired by migratory birds, including the world premiere of Refuges, a drone video display on a curved wall by internationally acclaimed artist Francis Quivillon. Renowned logo artists were also invited to create one-of-a-kind, innovative works. Hi, Kenny. Ornithopter Duo and Flocking at New Heights are two pieces that you were involved in creating. Could you tell us more about the creative concept behind them? Mm. About Flocking at New Heights, because we are curating and also the artists of the work. So we want to create a, a fresh, refreshing beginning of the whole journey. So we want to make a very difference of uh, the style of here, the futuristic, so the people seeing a forest and then starting to have a different environment that seeing how migratory bird, how the bird affecting each other in the environment and how we can protect them. How about Ornithopter Duo? Ornithopter Duo is, and then we want to make a work that follow the theme around this project. It's like a housewarming. It's how, how we can protect an environment by everyone doing a little steps. That's why we create like a electric pedal so everyone can walk on the pedal to create some energy so it could trigger the kinetic bird. This exhibition aims to deliver an elevated interactive experience and vividly illustrate advancements in technology. It features over 300 tech components, many of which were created and designed by HKSTP Incubates. Hi, Cam. What would you say is the biggest difficulty in combining art, technology, and environmental protection, and then making this fusion in different forms? I think it's a natural fit with our technology because, uh, let's say, we're talking about virtual experiences. So people don't have to go to a physical place in order to uh, experience uh, virtual experiences. So what does it mean? It means that they're cutting down the commuting time and also extra fuel. And so let me give you two examples. So for one is going to a biotech lab without a hurdle of booking a tour for a physical tour. And so the second, second thing it is, let's say, um, a 3D experience to, to try on a fertile jewel. And with the fertile try-on, they can do it anywhere, anytime to do that purchase. Uh, so I think it is pretty green with our technology. One of the key highlights is this helicopter simulator, which puts visitors in the pilot seat. Hi, Alex. You're the 3D lead of one of HKSTP Incubates participating in this exhibition. What would you say, how have you created a novel experience for the visitors? Well, I think in this era where technology and art are almost like one, and we're coming into a new generation of these type of experiences, I'm more than proud to be part of this. I guess, first wave of showcasing this type of marriage. Um, so for us, is providing knowledge to people on what they will be seeing in the near future and what type of experiences they can be part of uh, when it comes to art and technology. And I understand there are different technologies, including VR, XR, and metaverse incorporated into the works. Mm -hmm. How do you go about deciding which piece to pair with which technology? Uh, I think it all depends. There are all different platforms for different type of experiences. So depending on the experience that you want to provide to the customer, then you would choose that particular platform. It's essentially like, you know, am I going to be uh, driving a racing car? What's the purpose for it? Is it to win a race? Or am I going to go, or should I choose the four-wheel drive instead because I'm going to go in the mountains, right? So when it comes to XR, v uh, VR, and uh, Metaverse, they all have different, um, I guess, major key elements that makes them special. The exhibition emphasizes the need to strike a balance between INT growth and environmental stewardship. In addition to leading the sector in addressing climate issue, the organizer also hopes to inspire green actions among the public.